William Edward Burkhart Du Bois, famously known as W.E.B. Du Bois, was born on February 23, 1868 in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. As a young man, Du Bois received a B.A. from Fisk University. It was there that he first encountered Jim Crow laws, and for the first time, he began analyzing the deep troubles of American racism. After earning his degree at Fisk, Du Bois became the first African American to earn a PhD from Harvard University in 1895. What was impressive about Du Bois is that when he want, went to attend Harvard, they wouldn't accept his four year Fisk degree, and he faced racial problems on campus. So, historically, earning a PhD was a great feat. Du Bois was an American civil rights activist, leader, pan Africanist, sociologist, educator, writer, editor, and scholar. His life and work were an inseparable mix of scholarship, protest activity, and polemics. All his efforts were geared toward training equal treatment for black people in a world dominated by whites and toward marshalling and presenting evidence to refute the myths of racial inferiority. While he was teaching at the Atlantic University, he produced a great number of academic works, including The Philadelphia Negro in 1899. The first case study was in a black community. He found the population had terrible health issues, a lot of social ills, such as poverty. In his analysis, he was very forceful about pointing out racism as a reason for a lot of these illnesses. In 1903, Du Bois published The Souls of Black Folk. It contains poetry, autobiographical sketches, historical articles, memoirs, a wide-ranging representation of the diversity of black experience. In 1905, Du Bois founded the Niagara Movement. That organization became the forerunner of the NAACP, or also known as National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. And years later, Du Bois was appointed editor of the NAACP magazine, The Crisis. Du Bois wanted The Crisis to have two main components, protest and uplift. At the same time, he was protesting lynching and race rights. He was building a consciousness. While continuing his work for civil rights, Du Bois published his first novel, The Quest of the Silver Fleece, in 1911. Four years later, he published The Negro, the first journal history of black Africans. In 1920, Du Bois published the first of his three autobiographies entitled Dark Water, Voices from Within the Veil. Then in 1935, he published his magnum opus, Black Reconstruction, Reconstruction in America. With his three autobiographies, Du Bois gave us a document of what it was like to be a black in, Amer in an American century. Although Du Bois was a very great man, the FBI saw him as a major threat to the U.S. national greatness. During the Cold War, the Bureau collaborated with the State Department to seize Du Bois' U.S. passport. He then moved to Ghana in 1961, where he died a couple years later. On August 27, 1963, W.E.B. Du Bois is a, was a very influential man who wanted to spread awareness of equality and freedom. As he once said, the cost of liberty is less than the price of repression. To find more information on Du Bois, click the links below. Thank you.